strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because one thing that the enemy is after is to make the works of God look like it is a lie. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Because he can't do anything about his defeat. But he can convince one if they let him that Jesus did not actually defeat him. You see, the battle is over. There's no rematch. You understand? So the enemy can go in the field and be, be raking. I want a real match. Man, I want a real match. I don't believe you defeated me. I want a real match. Jesus is not going to listen to him. He is, he is defeated. It's a close case. So he can go about bragging. How that it wasn't really, really a fair contest. He can brag all he wants to brag. But he is defeated eternally. Whatever Jesus did is irreversible. He can't take it back. Are you hearing me? He's already defeated. He can't take it back. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? But he can make many look as though that victory that Christ wrought for them is not real. He doesn't mind telling you, hey, I know I'm defeated, but you can't enjoy the benefit of that victory until you get to heaven. I know many are teaching that. There is no crying in heaven. There is no weeping in heaven. Yes. But he wants you to suffer all you can suffer here on earth. No. No. Jesus The life and the victory of Jesus Christ is not just for yesterday. It is a present hour reality. He never said, I will give you peace when you get to heaven. He said, my peace I give. Not as the world gives. So if you can live a peaceful life today, when are you going to live one? And you hoping that I'm going to be peaceful when I get to heaven. If you can't be peaceful now, I don't know if you're going to be peaceful when you get to heaven. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So everything that Jesus did for us is for today. It's for now. Amen. Amen. It's for now. And that's why he said, be anxious for nothing. You know why? Because the enemy may try to get you to be anxious. He said, be anxious for nothing. You say, yes, sir. I refuse to be anxious. Amen. So when you feel like you're about to have a melt up breakdown, you said, I refuse to be anxious in the name of Jesus. He said, but but, but, uh, every now and then I do have panic attack. He said, I refuse in the name of Jesus. Jesus died so I don't have to live another day under the influence of a panic attack. I refuse to have one in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. So I say he wants us to reflect the realities of the finished work of Jesus Christ. That's why we're here. See, your life is a message. Do you understand that? You are a message. You may not know that, but you are a message from God. And that message is simple. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If Jesus was a miracle worker yesterday, he wants your life to reflect that he is a miracle worker today. Amen. And that's why I'm I'm, I'm a little bit disturbed uh, when we have, as a church, we hold on to uh, this set of belief as as a major pillar of truth in in the gospel, which is God's going to do it. God's going to do it. And that's for baby baby class. You understand? When you grow up in the things of God, you realize that God's not going to do it because he he already did what you are thinking that he's going to do. No, 
Now, let me, let me ask you a simple question. You tell me. No, I, I'm serious. You tell me one thing that you believe that God's going to do, and I'll show you from the book that he already did. Yeah. But as long as you are hoping and, and you, you, you sat down and, and you're like, oh, I'm waiting for God to do something. I'm waiting for God to do something. You never, you never enjoy what he did already. Because what you are hoping that he's going to do, he already did something about it. And what he's telling you, he saying, take advantage of what has already been done for you. So don't sit down there, get yourself up and move on because God has already done something for you. Just because you don't know doesn't mean he hasn't done something. What you need is revelation. Are you hearing me? I said what you need is revelation. When you know you enjoy life. You know you enjoy life. You know you enjoy life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, I live the blessed life. I live the blessed life. Every day. Every day. Amen. Amen. He said, be strong in the Lord. Take advantage of strength. Come on. Take advantage of strength. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of what's been done. Take, take collect it. Amen. Collect it. It's for you. Collect it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But then he says, he says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of what? Of the devil. Then he says, oh boy, I like this now. Woo. For we do not wrestle. Now he's giving you, he's, this is, uh, he's telling you, hey, these evil forces who are trying to rewrite history, they are not physical. They are spiritual beings. They are defeated anyway. They know they are defeated. But they want to minimize the, 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 the effect of their defeat. Oh, boy. Oh, let me rephrase that. They, they, they want to minimize the effect of their defeat which is to you your victory in your life ah. that's what they want to do i know i am defeated but you need to fast and pray to have me defeated in your life come on no. what's the matter with you i know who i am yeah. If you fast, you, you, you defeat the devil. Oh, I'm going to get the devil defeated. And I, I, I remember a fellow one time, he said, I, 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 I was in a wrestling match with the devil last night. I said, who sent you? <laughs> Amen. He said, man, he was, the, you know, I knocked the devil and the devil knocks me. I, I knocked the devil two times and the devil knocks me. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> you have no business knocking the devil. Yeah. All he told you is to step on oh, him. Step on him. That's what it says. He's too low for you to be engaged in that kind of a contest with him. That's right. Like a fellow one time uh, said, <laughs> he said uh, he's, he's, he's in a boxing match with the devil. And he was doing like this. You know, he said, uh, he's, he's exercising for the devil. You are already in the flesh. You see, you already position yourself to leave the reverse of what Jesus has already done for you. The fact that you're trying to engage the devil in a wrestling match means that you don't know that he's already defeated. <laughs> and what is it that the Bible says you should do to the devil? Say, cast him out. Cast him out. Say, out, and he will be out. He didn't say, engage in a wrestling match. No. I said, who, who then is going to be the referee? <laughs> How will you know that you've won? <laughs> if you don't know already that you already won. Right. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. amen. I said amen. amen. So.